Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. It has been a busy and crazy May. Uh, you're probably seeing this uh, first part of June, but uh, man, May was a rainy month, uh, way more than I've ever seen. The last three weeks, it's rained uh, every week and uh, like every other day. Sometimes we may get rain three, four days in a row. Uh, one day we had over five inches. My uh, rain gauge was full to the top. So that was over a couple days. Uh, but uh, man, I'm way behind on inspections. The only thing I was able to do was get my splits done and get the uh, wildflower meadow queens uh, put in there. But uh, I, I'm behind. I say that seems like every time. So today we're going to get into uh, hives one five six and ten that were queenless on the 14th today is the 29th so i had notes follow up follow up and i hadn't been able to get in there been able, been doing other things so when i have good weather i get down here do what i can and get out and uh the other days i don't come down here i'm mowing because <laughs> all this rain makes the grass grow like crazy and uh, maintaining this acreage you know with my 46 inch cut mower takes some time so uh, I just uh, pick a spot and do it. Uh, got my mower stuck one day. I had to drag it out with a tractor. But uh, the bees are really active. Uh, the sun's been shining a little bit here, but uh, there's severe weather in the area. Lots of storms and tornado went to the north of us. And uh, luckily we didn't get any of that, but it's supposed to be forming uh, to the south and heading this way in a couple hours. So I wanna do as many as I can not going to get to mow today that's okay and uh hopefully we find some queens in there so uh hive one was uh swarmed and i think i they were acting like they had a queen so i think one's going to be okay it's uh five six and ten i'm worried about i pulled splits on those and uh i saw no signs of a queen and and uh, their behavior didn't tell me anything that, that they were headed in a good direction so uh these inspections, I'm not going to go fr every frame and show you everything. If I see signs of a queen, I'm going to show you that, and I'm going to go to the next, and I'm going to try and get them all four hit in this video. Let's get going. Okay, the apiary right now, it's about uh, 5 o'clock in the evening, and uh, they're really active with uh, patches of sun showing up between the, the big ring-looking clouds. Here's hive one. Entrance looks good. Let's uh, get that super off and see if we can find us a queen here's my queen cage from uh, hive number two that i kept calling hive number five and my smoker is well lit today i'm not going to open the super don't have time we'll just get a feel of the weight They're not doing much with it. A little bit of light smoke. So we do want to see the queen if she's up here or the signs of the queen. So the looks of these frames on the top, this is pretty well built out honey wise. I'll tell you what I'm looking at here. See how thick uh, some of those are drawn out like that one right there so if it's that way all the way down which it may not be it may just be along the edges but uh tells me they're pulling in some nectar i just wish they would uh get up in the top and fill up that super population looks decent it's not packed which it hadn't had a lay in queen for a while they had a brood break So I thought I saw some eggs in here. I think it was around the 14th. Today's the 29th. So uh, we should see some capped brood if those in fact were eggs. Uh, got that from my notes. Pollen. Got a pretty good variety of pollen in there, different colors. So my note said frame seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this frame right here is where I thought I saw eggs. 
and I see larvae on here and they are there's some capped uh, cap brood down the bottom what what am I seeing swarm cells are you kidding me these bees right here I'm working on swarm cells this is was the queenless hive so let me show you what I'm seeing here there are see the white larva and they're not coming out as drones so we don't have drone layers or uh, laying workers that's what I meant to say the swarm cells are making me crazy stupid bees uh, maybe they're maybe they're honey bound or something uh, we'll see oh I don't like what I'm seeing now uh, these are fat these are fat uh, cells capped these are drones see how they stick up so we've got uh, maybe we do have laying workers Ugh. laying workers and a swarm cell same thing on this side uh, is there a queen larva in there they're acting like there's a queen larvas in these swarm cells I've seen uh, where I had like laying workers and uh, emergency cells and I always wondered well would that make a queen if it's not a fertilized egg so I called those drag queens <laughs> all right maybe we'll see some good brood think positive no same darn thing this hive is uh, doomed we got laying workers yeah definitely laying workers show you how I know see if I can zoom in on it all right right in here uh, look in those cells and you'll see multiple eggs so this hive has gone laying worker oh that sucks I thought I was gonna find a queen laying in here maybe those eggs I saw were laying worker eggs Drone cells, where there should be worker cells. There's no queen in here. So I'll tell you what we need to do. Uh, we need to get some queen pheromone in here. So what I'll do is I'll get a uh, single screen put on here so the bees can touch, but they won't attack that queen because they think they're queen right. So they'll attack a queen right now. So you don't want to put a queen in here. Uh, you probably don't want to do a newspaper combine because it might happen too fast so we need to put a single screen on here and that way the queen pheromone gets in here and they accept that new queen it'll be three deeps or whatever I decide to put on here and uh, we'll have to reduce that down but uh, beekeeping the ups and the downs that's a down big downer Wah, wah. let's get over to uh we'll do that another day let's go to hive five or no yeah five I promise i can count <laughs> most of the time we're gonna have a hive full of drones here for long again i'm not gonna i'm not gonna open the super We'll just do the old weight test. I can tell just by doing that there ain't nothing in there. In fact, there was more in Hive 1. Super than there is in this one. Our population doesn't look real strong, but it's not uh, depleted. So there's the entrance. The entrance doesn't look bad. But uh, as far as overall population, which I just smoked them, uh, it, it's not where I think it should be which tells me there's not a laying queen in here no more bad news come on nectar so I did a random inspection on this back around that same time frame mid May and found that it was queenless nectar 
and made a note we need to check it there's a little pollen a little pollen this little emergency cup with nothing in it and a perfect frame for laying and there's nothing in it a little bit of nectar they're putting in there same thing on this side and there's an emergency cup with some white in it but uh, I don't see a larva so that's how that other hive was looking before hive one over there uh, when I did that inspection I thought I saw eggs uh, that last frame I showed you was the one I saw before and it had uh, lots of emergency cells so here are larva and an emergency cell and I think there's a larva in it so there, we got larva right here you see those are not they're mainly in that little semi wonky comb that's drone comb there's some over to the left too this whole frame is laid up actually when I look at it with the sunlight and I don't see multiple eggs. Cross your fingers. I don't see multiple eggs per cell, which would mean laying worker. And here's a little bit of nectar. I think we got a laying queen in here. Yeah, I'm not seeing eggs. I thought I saw some on this side, but not the other. I'm looking for eggs and I forgot to keep looking for that queen. There's more bees over here, so maybe, uh, ouch, my belt stabbed me. My electric fence wire belt. That's uh, some random pollen. Lots of pollen there. Let's get back over here and look at this one real quick and uh, keep an eye out for Queen. See, they're working these emergency cells like they're uh, trying to requeen. So I'm not going to go into the bottom. I'm going to call this Queenless for now. Follow up. So we got two more hives to get into. That's not where that was, dummy. Getting in a hurry. Changed my mind, I'm gonna peek in the bottom real quick. Now this hive is, I wouldn't say it's medium strong, I wouldn't say it's weak, but it ain't where it needs to be. Because there's no brood hatching out what's a pollen here they got their fans going Don't need to go any farther I think this hives cleanless and I think that's probably laying uh, worker on that top box We will follow up and see in a few days. Man, look how many uh, came out. They're just pouring out of there from the smoke. I don't care for that. Man, they're already back out there. So this hive to me is acting queenless. Uh, why do I say that? disorganization they're just kind of acting a little crazy and I didn't smoke them that hard there's a lot of fanning going on queen right hive you won't see that that much the smoke may be causing them to do it but they're just they're nuts so number six is right here next to number five Entrance looks okay. 
not just busting, but it's all right. You know, a strong hive, you want it to look like that. So that hive is uh, healthy. They've got good population, they're out foraging. I'd say probably the same about this one. I probably need to pull that brick off. This one, for being the same size of those two, I don't, it doesn't look to me like it has a strong a population, which it's been queenless, so. Little bit to this, not much. So we're way behind on honey production because of all the rain, a freeze we had, bees have not been able to forage and a lot of their forage stuff is not there like it used to be. A lot of the tree type flowering and shrubs, it's not here. The uh, Arctic blast killed it. This hive is weak. It's not near up here what it should be. It's weaker than that one. So looks like we've got three hives we're gonna have to fix and correct. You know, if I'd have known and had time and to check these before the, my Wildflower Meadows Queens showed up, they could have went into a hive like this. See, there's no bees up here, like there should be. So that's how you can tell just by doing walk-bys and looking at your entrances. If you got a lot of hives, you can, you know, compare them. That's why it's good to have more than one hive. So you have something to compare to. Nectar. Nectar, they're starting to cap a little there. Pollen. So we should see brood next, but we're not because I don't see hardly any bees on this frame where brood ought to be. No nurse bees, there's a few, but. So there's nectar and pollen here. Same thing. They're back filling the brood chamber with uh, nectar and pollen. So this hive, I could, if I don't see eggs, get a queen in here and prevent the laying worker problem that it's fixing to have. I've got a queen over there I banked, but she's not mated yet. So I could just combine that little nuke in with this, but uh, might be some orientation issues with her. She's made a few flights. She needs to be mated before I transplant her somewhere else. Yeah, there is zilcho going on in this sucker. Quick peek at the bottom. Same observation, not enough bees here. Little nectar. All the drones are hanging out here. We don't need to see any more. They're all full of some nectar and pollen and have drones hanging out. Another doomed hive. Okay, 0 for 3. That is not good. Not good at all. I thought for sure that Hive 1 uh, was going to be okay. Okay, Hive 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Interest doesn't look too bad. Uh, no weight to this. I had two supers on this hive. Uh, in the beginning, it was so strong. I thought, uh, man, I'm going to just put two on it right off the bat. And I jinxed it. So I like what I see. There's a concentration of bees right here. Like something's going on right there. And the frames down in there are covered. Those few there on the top, so... Hopefully what's going on isn't a bunch of drone brood. We'll see. I 
I had high hopes for this hive. And it broke my heart. Nothing going on there. There's no bees on it. I'm not going to pull it out. A little bit of capped honey and some nectar. Got our pollen here and nectar. So hopefully we'll have some brood over here in the next one. Same thing. I see larva. Are they good larva though? These larva here look to me like they're a little tall, like they may be drones. Oh, I think I see a brood frame. Please be good, please be good. Worker bees, worker bees. Oh, Eureka! Ha ha, that's what we want to see. See how they're flat, uniform. They don't look like little little uh, 22 bullets sticking up, little domes. They're flat and all uniform. That is good worker brood. Oh, let's see. The meatloaf song is three out of four. Ain't bad. This was one out of four. Let's go. A little farther, maybe we'll get to meet our new queen. Good brood here as well. Not as much, but it is there. It is present in all its glory. Come on, baby. Where are you? We got to end on a good note. Show yourself. Ah, bingo. There she is. She's down there on the bottom. We're going to call her the meatloaf queen. So one out of four ain't bad. <laughs> I could mark her. Mark her white. Not going to press my luck. Uh, going to leave her be. Get out of here. And we'll mark her at a later day. So that's a swarm cell queen that went out, made it, and came back. And is laying. And it took longer than I had expected. Usually takes two and a half, three weeks, you know, for the timetable, but uh, it was longer than that. Sometimes you just got to be patient. Don't go buying queens online next day airing them to yourself. So it's like 70 bucks for one queen. And you put her in. And uh, bees attack her. I know, because I've done that. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes. I'd say... Man, I'm guessing I'd say this was a five weeks before. I'd have to go look at my calendar and see. I think I was in here on the 14th and saw no sign. Today's the 29th. So how many days that is. Now they need to make some honey. So that's what the top of a hive needs to look like. Bees covering the frames, calm. They seem organized. They seem like they know what they're doing. They have a purpose. They don't want to go down. Try to get them smoked down when I put these excluders on so they don't get smashed. There's a little bit of space there, but... Oh! Knocked out. Yeah, there's no weight to this honey super. Hey, so at least we ended on a good note. We got to see a queen and... Uh, Named her Meatloaf, of all things. Be easy to remember. So, uh, we've got three hives uh, we've got to deal with. So, one of them, number one, is like a big time laying workers. Uh, number five 
it's not laying worker but then we we saw some eggs we, we need to get queens into to five and six as soon as possible uh, so i'm gonna have to sit down and think about it look at what i've got available i do have a nuke i pulled out of uh number 28 the one that had the white and the the red the the queen that uh, had the, the really pissy hive so <laughs> yeah let's propagate that so uh i might uh I might use her and do a single screen combine on that number one, but I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to figure it out. That's the end of the video. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe on your way out. Hey, we hit 8,000. Can you believe it? <laughs> That's something else. Thank you all for all of your support and watching, commenting, and subscribing. I really appreciate it. So uh, we'll catch you on the next beekeeping video. Y'all take care.